In this quick video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to automatically add audio ducking to your music within your Premiere Pro videos. Now, if you are creating YouTube content, you've got talking heads, you've got sequences, this is a must, especially if you have included some audio. Basically with audio ducking, if there's any points where you aren't speaking or there's no other sound, your music level will increase. And then when it comes to you talking or you've got your narration, the level will drop back down. So rather than you manually inserting these points, as a lot of people do, you can do this really quickly and easily using the audio ducking option. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to go up to window and I'm going to go down to essential sound. This will open up a little panel on the right hand side. The next thing I need to do is I'm going to select all of the audio content on the track where I have my um, narration, which is these files here, and I'm going to select dialogue. So those are basically pieces of dialogue. Now there are lots of different options that we can toggle in there, but I'm gonna leave them for now. And then I'm gonna come down to my music track, and I'm gonna select the whole piece of um, audio for that one, and I'm going to apply music here. So now we'll see we've got dialogue here and we've got music here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play the video and I'm just going to adjust the clip volume, so it's the entire volume for this particular clip for the music. So now that we've got a level that I'm happy with, we can still hear the narration and we can hear the music. The next thing that I need to do is I want to increase the volume level during the spaces where we don't have any narration and then dip it back down when the narration starts. Rather than doing that using manual audio points, all I need to do is select the music clip, then go to ducking, turn that one on, you'll see it ducks against the dialogue here. If it was a different type of audio, like a sound effect or something like that, you could duck against that. You can adjust the sensitivity, you can adjust things like how much it ducks and the fade duration. And then all you need to do is you need to make sure you click on generate keyframes and you'll see between these two little spaces, audio points will be added and then the volume increases. So now if we jump back to the start. New York may be a small city in area, 50% smaller than London. So we've got a very gradual increase there. So what I might do is I might adjust the duck amount here just to make it a little bit louder. Generate keyframes. New York may be a small city in area, 50% smaller than London. And then the last thing is I might grab these audio points here, just increase them. And then let's see how it sounds. New York may be a small city in area, 50% smaller than London. But it boasts more groundbreaking and historic events. And there you go. So that's taken a matter of just two minutes and we've been able to add in the audio ducking. Now, if I was doing that manually, it would take a heck of a lot longer. You can zoom in, you can be a little bit more um, particular about exactly where these points um, ha occur. You can even go into things like the fade duration. You can drop that slightly and then you'll see that basically that moves the point here where the sound increases a little bit closer, so it's a quicker fade. And that's all you need to do. So if you want to try and add some audio ducking to your videos within Premiere Pro, that's exactly how you do it.